Welcome to the risk reward and prop calculator. This is your mathematical edge for position sizing, strategy validation and prop firm success. This isn't guesswork anymore. It's pure mathematics applied to trading strategy optimization. Whether you're optimizing personal strategies or preparing for prop firm challenges, these calculators give you the statistical foundation for consistent profitability. There are two calculators in the page. The basic calculator that you can see here is your standard risk reward simulation for personal trading strategy optimization. The idea of this particular calculator is to demonstrate to you the outcomes with different risk reward ratios and different win rates. You can run multiple simulations to see how win streaks and losing streaks and drawdown will vary with exactly the same strategy over different runs of an optimization. The prop firm calculator is a specialized tool designed specifically for prop firm challenges. It's only available to pro and elite members. And this calculator uses Monte Carlo simulation to show you exactly what happens when your strategy meets real market conditions over hundreds and hundreds of trades. Let's focus on the basic calculator to start with. So the basic calculator allows you to enter a starting balance. So if you were going to trade with a $10,000 account, for example, you would enter $10,000 and then you can enter a number of trades. So the best way to use this is to look at roughly how many trades you're going to take on a daily basis and multiply that by 20. That's going to give you roughly one month's worth of trading. So, for example, if we're going to trade three times a day with a particular strategy, we would enter in here 60, which is going to give us roughly 60 trades over the period of one month. You can then enter your risk. It's defaulted to 1%, so we'll leave that there for the moment. And you have the risk reward ratio. So this is designed to show you the impact that risk reward has on your return on investment. So if we go from a 1.2 to a 1.4 risk reward ratio here, meaning for every $1 risk, we're now going to make $4 on our trade. You can see that the $3,400 profit suddenly turns into $13,991. So you can see by leaving your trades to run for longer, you're obviously going to make more profit. If we reduce that back down to one to two, we go back down to that $3,400 profit again. You can see also that the win rate will have a definitive effect on all strategies. So if you have a lower than normal strike rate, say somewhere around about the 35% mark with a one to two risk reward ratio, you're still going to be in profit and make more money than your starting balance. However, if your strike rate increases up to 60%, you're suddenly going to make much, much more money. But you could also take a smaller risk reward ratio, maybe even a one to one with a 60% strike rate and generate lots of profit. So you can play around with these settings. And if you know what your win rate is, you can show yourself what will happen if you just let your trades run that little bit longer, or maybe use that little bit more risk if you have a successful strategy already. One of the other things that's really useful with this basic calculator is by looking at the maximum drawdown, win streak and lose streak. Every time you run a new simulation, you will see that the maximum drawdown here changes. Also, the winning and losing streak will change too. So let's run another simulation now, 9.7% drawdown and four winning trades and five losing trades. The new simulation gives us a 13.5% drawdown, but now we get eight losing trades and seven winning trades. The outcome is going to be the same every time we run the simulation. But the way that we get to the outcome can be dramatically different. So you can have a 6% drawdown here and running a new simulation, we suddenly have a 10% drawdown, but we've arrived at the same result. So the key takeaway from using the basic calculator is to show you how you will get to your result in a different way every time. You can see the peaks and the troughs here of the winning and losing streaks will constantly change, although you will get to the same result, but in a completely different way every single time you run the simulation. Prop firm challenge calculator allows you to analyze 
a prop evaluations rules and plan how you are going to pass. It will also show you the probabilities of passing with different risk reward ratios and win rates over periods of time. So if you are taking prop evaluations, one of the things that really kills traders is their ability to stay calm when they hit losing streaks and have faith in the strategy that they are going to achieve the target in the long run. So what we'll do is we'll do a quick simulation here to show a standard evaluation, which is a $100,000 account with a profit target of 8% and a maximum loss of 5%. We are going to assume that this prop evaluation needs to be completed with a minimum of 10 trading days and that we are going to take three trades per day. Now, you have the option to set trailing loss limits. Some prop firms will trail the loss with the balance. Others will have a static loss. So you can change that depending on which prop firm that you are trading with. This is where the magic happens down here. The trading strategy will allow you to input what you would expect to achieve with your particular strategy. So if you have a strategy that you know has roughly a 50% strike rate and you get a one to two risk reward ratio most of the time, you can see that on this particular occasion, you will have lost some trades and gone into drawdown by two and a half thousand, maybe even three, and then you would have moved up and passed that evaluation in seven days. Now, if you have to trade a minimum of 10 days, what you can do is maybe reduce your risk down slightly to make sure that you are running less chance of blowing that evaluation because you're going to be risking less and there's less chance of you hitting that drawdown limit, but you will get your evaluation over the line in the required number of days. So it's really useful for identifying what risk you should be using with your particular strategy, depending on the prop firm that you are trading with. You can also come down and run a batch simulation as well. The batch simulation will allow you to run a number of different simulations to show you what would have happened with those particular statistics. So if we run 20 simulations here, this is equivalent to us running 20 different evaluations with prop firms. So as you can see with a one to two risk reward ratio, and a 50% strike rate, if we we're risking 0.7 per day, we will have passed every single prop firm evaluation. The average time to get to the target is 7.5 days and the maximum average drawdown is 2.53%. Now, if we make ourselves much more aggressive and move our risk up to 2%, you can see that with this particular evaluation, we still passed in seven days. And if we run the batch simulation now, we can see that because we're using more risk, there is a probability that we will start to fail. We will also take more drawdown, but we will pass the evaluations quicker. But the more risk we apply to the account, you can see we are now gonna be still passing those evaluations and potentially in one day. But if we run a batch simulation, you can see that there's a probability that we will start to fail more evaluations. So you can adjust your strike rate and adjust your risk reward ratio to whatever you normally trade as a trader. And you'll be able to see exactly what is likely to happen to you in those proper valuations. So if you're too aggressive and you don't have a very good strike rate and you don't let your winners run, the chances of you failing are going to be very, very high. But by sheer probabilities, you will pass some of those evaluations. You can also set it up so that you can see what would happen if you are part way through an evaluation. So let's say, for example, we have been already trading a proper valuation and we're two days down and we have to trade a minimum of five days to pass the evaluation and we're using a trailing stop limit. and We only take two trades with our strategy a day. We try to take one long trade and one short trade. What this will now do is it will show you what you need to do to pass that evaluation. So if we drop our risk down to 1% and we maintain a strike rate of 40% with a risk reward of 1.25, it shows you that our evaluation will still be in progress by the time we get to our total trading days of five. However, 
If we were to let those trades run a little bit longer and go to 1.25%, we're still going to be in that evaluation and not passed. So what we could do is keep our win rate the same and maybe for the last three days of the evaluation, up our risk. And now you can see we almost passed there. If we run a couple of different simulations, there's a probability that one of these we will actually pass. There we go. So that one, we got over the line in three days and passed the evaluation. But if we run a batch simulation down here, it will tell us what the probabilities are of passing as opposed to failing and still being in those evaluations. So what you can do is look at maybe taking ever such a slightly bigger target on your trades and then rerun that simulation and see how that weighs the odds in your favor or against you for passing. So when you're partially in an evaluation, you can run multiple simulations to see what is the best thing to do to actually get that evaluation over the line. And because you can run so many different simulations of this, it shows you what is gonna happen the vast majority of the time. So in that case, we failed because we hit the maximum loss limit. But if we keep going this one, we passed. So you can adjust your risk parameters to be more suitable to the position you're in in your current proper valuation to ensure you have a success. Also, don't forget, most prop firms have a minimum trading day requirement, and that is a minimum. So you can adjust that to say, I'm going to take twice as long to pass this evaluation, and then see what difference that makes to your probabilities of passing or failing evaluations. In this case, we're suddenly passing 17 of them out of 20 and failing only three, which is an 85% success rate. We're going to be passing in roughly 5.8 days, which is almost a day over the minimum we wanted to, but our drawdown is only going to be 2.48%. Down here, it gives you a breakdown of the simulated trades. And every time you run a new simulation, what it's going to do is randomly adjust the win and lost cycle to show you different wins and different losses in different orders. So this basically is called a Monte Carlo test and it simulates different outcomes with the same ending probability.